A citizen dashboard is a key part of the digital city. It's sort of like a citizen's portal, which would be given away to anybody who wants to use it, both normal citizens and vendors and educators and government officials. Everyone would have a different way of using this free dashboard. We call it a digital lifestyle aggregator in that it's an integrated environment. It aggregates lots of different things together like people and services and content. And it's highly customizable to make it adapt to exactly who you are and what your needs are. Now, the way that this thing works is that it's free and it's open source, so that there are actually multiple instances of it in the city running at the same time. Thereby, no one vendor dominates this whole situation because what we're trying to nurture is a digital economy ecosystem. And we can't have that if we have a single vendor dominating, like a Facebook or a Google. We have to have a shared environment, a level playing field, so any kind of developer or content person or game person or community organization wants to come in and use the dashboard as if it's their own, well, they can go off and create their own dashboard or they can be a participant in the dashboard or have it work across all the dashboards. You see, that's how you create a distributed environment. Now, a key thing is that the whole thing will be based upon open standards that the startup community and with government and industry will all agree upon how we're going to do this, how we're going to share content, how we're going to have content channels, how we'll have a marketplace that anyone can upload their items or their different services and sell them across multiple instances of this marketplace. We'll do the same thing with the business directory. We do the same thing with new kinds of video help so that different people can connect to each other and, and sell their time and create a peer network of support. Okay? We also create new kinds of software infrastructure, like a shared city history database, so different apps and platforms can all share that one pool of content. Okay? All this is part of this citizen dashboard notion. Okay? You want to give it away for free. You want to create these kind of vertical networks. Each instance of the dashboard could be for the Armenian community or just the academics or the sports fans. Or however you want to slice and dice your community, you could have your own dashboard, your own portal. That's what we call a citizen dashboard.